The A320 Neo has propelled Airbus into the top narrow-body spot against its rival Boeing. However, there has been one member of the family that is struggling, the A319 Neo. With only 70 orders, the plane has not found the success Airbus was hoping for. The original A319 had been a huge success for the European plane maker, with over 1,480 planes delivered to customers across the world. With the Neo family promising to improve efficiency, many believed that the A319 Neo would follow its previous streak. However, this proved to be far from reality. Today, the smallest A319 Neo has only garnered 70 orders. 30 of these come from an undisclosed customer and 7 from governments or private jet customers. Only a few airlines have currently ordered the plane – China Southern, Spirit Airlines and Air Cote d'Ivoire. Spirit is set to be the biggest operator with 31 orders, followed by two each for China Southern and Air Cote d'Ivoire. China Southern is on track to become the first to fly the A319neo, but its order remains unlisted. This signals that at least a part of the 30 going to an undisclosed customer is for the major Chinese carrier, either directly or through a lesser. The carrier currently has two aircraft painted in its colors. One reason behind the A319neo's struggles is seen to be Airbus's massively popular A220. The former Bombardier C-Series has become a darling to airlines in recent years, impressing passengers with its cabin and airlines with its efficiency and capacity. With both planes occupying a similar space in the market, the A220 has pulled ahead. As of today, the A220 has racked up over 600 orders, nearly 10 times that of the A319neo. With a dual use as a regional and short-haul aircraft, it has eaten into the market share for the A319neo. Both planes are highly similar in terms of capacity and range, and while the A319 is capable of carrying DZH and LD3 containers, the cost of operation is far lower for the A220 and its lower maximum takeoff weight. It is important to note that the A319neo is not doomed for failure. The aircraft still retains a 95% familiarity with the A320neo, which means airlines don't need to require fresh pilot training or maintenance facilities if they already fly the family. Moreover, the A319 is far newer to the market, having first flown in 1995. Spirit's A319s are only 15 years old, which means there are a few years before retirement. This stands true for airlines globally, so the A319neo could make a comeback in the future. With at least two airlines sure to add the A319neo in the coming months and years, the project may be taking a backseat now, but it's not dead by any means. What do you think about the A319neo? Will it find mainstream success? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.